Hi guys, it's just Charlie here from Sterling Power, here to introduce the BBR, which is the remote control for the new range of Buck Boost battery to battery chargers, and to go through the functions of it essentially. So this remote control here comes with a little big pigtail Ethernet style RJ connector, which just plugs into the remote control port you see on the uh, bottom of the battery to battery charger. It's currently got some cellophane over the top of that which can be peeled off which explains the little bubbles. But uh, besides that, yeah, it's just a simple case to plug it in here. Now, the remote will come with three meters of extension cable. So if you wish to extend up to three meters away plus the length of that pigtail to put it somewhere more convenient. And we have it set so when the battery to battery charger is charging, the screen stays on just as it is now showing 14.2 volts which is the output voltage and of course if that changes this will change too likewise with the current it's simply the current coming out of this down this um, output connector here so it tells you the output voltage the output current what state of charge the dc to dc charger is in at the moment it's in bulk which is the first stage of the battery charging cycle and led one means the battery charging profile that the unit's been set to which is the default setting so if it was lithium it would say lithium if it was um, AGM it would say AGM one or two lithium one or two etc so that's the what the main display shows now the primary reason for getting a remote control may well be to view the output voltages and the output currents or it could be to take advantage of the functions that the remote control gives now if we enter the functions I'll just briefly go through them so if you hold the menu button down for about four seconds so three four and then let go here you enter the menu and you just tog toggle up and down the menu with the up and down arrows but let's start at the top so battery type if you just press enter now you can toggle through the battery type so AGM1 lithium ion phosphate lead 2 AGM2 lithium 2 uh, and then user 1 and user 2 are the custom profiles which I'll go into in a uh, towards the end of the video so let's just put it back in lead one so lead one select and then scroll down to the next uh, function option so eq mode just means equalization or desulfation if you want the charger to go through a desulfation cycle you need to be in one of the lead settings first before you can toggle this on and off so if you can't find eq mode it's because you're in agm or lithium so put it in lead mode first before entering eq mode now, ignition off on, if you've fed a, a, an ignition signal to this connector here, the second one in along the row, the unit will be set to ignition mode on all the time. And here, if you want to set it back to non-ignition mode, you have to do it via the remote control, or you can do a factory reset on the unit. So there's just two ways of getting the unit out of ignition only mode, and that's one of the ways backlight all the time so if you don't want the backlight to be on all the time while the unit's on simply change it so you can either have 10 seconds 20 seconds all the way up to 250 seconds uh, which basically means that if you press a button on the remote control the backlight stays on for 10 seconds 20 seconds or 250 seconds and then it turns off or you can have it on all the time which is what um, the default option is now the current limit setting is the setting that I think most people will want the unit for, the remote for. So the default setting is of course 100%, 100% which means 100% uh, of the performance of the unit uh, is what the default setting of both the battery to battery charger and the remote is set to. Now, you've got two, two options here. You can either reduce it to 85% or you can reduce it to 65%. So if I set it to 65% and go save and exit, that 111 amps, the unit will turn off in about two or three seconds and it will boot up again at around about 70 odd amps. So let's just see, so it's turned off and I'm just gonna let the unit fire up again. It should turn back on in a second. There we go, so it's turned on and it's, it's turned on in 60, uh, 76 amps there. So it, it's approximate. Um, and then you've got that 85%, which is uh, somewhere in between. So that's a nice feature if, let's say it's a sunny day and you just want the solar to charge your leisure battery, you don't want to consume fuel, um, there's, other, there's other benefits of reducing the, the current as well. Let's say your alternator 
in future you're going to up, up the size of your alternator where you might want to reduce the performance of the battery to battery charger before uh, you get a bigger alternator or your cables might not be thick enough to handle the current your battery that you're charging up you might not want to put that amount of current in yet until you get a larger battery bank there's lots of little reasons why you might want to reduce the current um, so yeah it gives you the option to do that now user the de user defined settings one and two which is towards the end here of the functions is simple and it's simple case of setting your own charge profile so uh, if we go into user setting one go enter here you can set the absorption so that's the first voltage to set so you've got 14.0 is the lowest voltage you can set the absorption to or you can go all the way up to I think it's 15.5 yeah so 15.5 so if you want to set it to let's say 14.6 press enter and then the next option is to set float so let's say you want that at 13.5 13 set that to 13.5 and then the last one is absorption time length so default seems to be three hours you can go all the way up to I think it's six, yeah, six, and then you can go all the way down to half an hour. So let's call it one hour. Press enter, and then scroll through here. Right, in order for it to set the user, you need to go back to battery type, and then toggle through here to go to user one. To so go to user one and press enter, and then scroll down to save and exit. So if you want to ever make changes to the B2B, you need to um, actually go to save and exit before you leave the menu settings. Otherwise, it won't save the um, settings that you've just made. So it's just rebooted back up again. Now to tell from just looking at the unit that we're in a custom profile, these two LEDs light up. And on here, we'll say user defined one. So user one means it's the one that you've defined. Now, a nice little feature as well is that's now pegged to 76 amps because obviously I've set it to 65% current limit. If I was to either break or lose this charger, uh, the remote control, so I've now removed the remote control and the battery to battery charger is still 74%, 74 amps or so. If I do a factory reset here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So about seventeen seconds let go when all the three lights flash. And that should restart the current limit to hundred percent again. So that's a good if you lose the remote control or it breaks or I don't know, you no longer want to use it you know something gets damaged on it or it, and it inhibits the product just do a factory reset and now you're back up to 110 amps or so so that's just a good kind of get out of jail card really all right thank you very much